what I've always done in explaining to people what Race of Champions is, is that they can see up close and personal why we love competition, why we love getting behind the wheel of a car. It's tough, you know, it's uh, a quick shootout. It can be one way or the other. When we are both uh, on the starting line with a helmet, uh, we both want to win, so we'll see. Two identical cars, top drivers going head to head, and at the end you've got a champion and champions two hours later. Such a difficult track today with this water that is so difficult for everybody. So it was really up to the driver to be able to switch from different cars, and so it was quite a challenge. I think we all had moments of glory and moments of joy and moments of scare. I think a good race car driver can adapt to any different circumstances. I mean, I've raced on a lot of different types of surfaces, but I've never driven anything like this. I think it'd be very easy to look completely uh, foolish. Oh my goodness, it collided! Crashes through the finish line! I think I probably would think very carefully about uh, taking this off. This is what happens when you give a bunch of drivers a whole bunch of awesome cars that aren't ours. We just break everything. <laughs> Any loss is not good, but the reality is, if you look at the most successful driver in Formula One, Michael Schumacher, he lost more than he won. Those losses make you really appreciate the victories. I think the important thing for Michael and myself to work and uh, being so strong in the Nations Cup was just uh, we had the timing completely figured out. I think he's the greatest there ever was. Win, lose, or draw, the experience of ROC is unlike anything else. It's always within a tiny little fraction of either winning or losing. You never truly know whether you've won or lost until you cross the line. 